Welcome back to my YouTube channel, TBG Family, though, man. That's the YouTube channel, man, TBG Family, though, man. If y'all run across my channel, man, I want y'all to do this, man. Make sure you take your thumb or your finger, your thumb on your finger, your thumb on your finger, and press thumbs up on my video, and then down below where it says subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, T. B G family. Yeah, that's the channel. Make sure you subscribe to it. I love all my fans. I love all my supporters. I do this for y'all. This is letting you know. But I want to get into this, man. I want to get into this Chicago legend. When I say Chicago legend, and when I mean Chicago legend, and when I say Chicago legend, man, I mean he's a Chicago legend. He created so much shit. And he created, he created his own gang. He created his own shit, his own record label company, and he put on. He basically put on for his. He put on for his block, his hood, and his turf. And what I mean by a Chicago legend, man, everybody know who I'm talking about. He was an up and coming artist, up and coming artist, he was an up and coming artist, an up and coming rapper out of Chicago, if he would have stick to his own music and stick in his lane and one of them been dissing, dissing rappers and shit, he would be big, and I think, you know, he, maybe he will still be here, you know, I think he would still be here, um, I think he would still be here if he didn't have haters, and, but if he didn't have haters and if he would have stayed in his lane and if he would have moved out of Chicago, if he didn't move out of Chicago, I think he would still be alive. You know what I'm saying? Chicago legend is little Jojo. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know who little Jojo is, man. Little Jojo, nigga. Little Jojo is from Chicago, nigga. He was an up and coming artist, right? He was an up and coming artist and shit. <clears throat> he can't, I think, um, how it went, it went, um, I think he came out before Chief Keith, and then Chief Keith came out, or Chief Keith came out first, and then they came out. But Chief Keith and Lil Jojo was going back and forth, back and forth, dissing each other, right? So they both was dissing each other, right? But I think if Lil Jojo would have moved out of Chicago like Chief Keith did, nigga, I think that would be a classic right now because, nigga, Chief Keith is still alive, and he moved out of Chicago. And all the shit he done, he moved out of Chicago. He never came back to Chicago. He's smart. I think if Lil Jojo would have did the same, moved out of Chicago and all that shit, man, and then say it like if they was, you know, going at it, say if they would drop a diss song and go at it right now, I think that shit would be epic, and I think it would be so much motherfucking, um, and I think that shit would go viral, hell to viral, you know what I'm saying, it's because y'all niggas don't get it fucked up, Lil Jojo, nigga, every song he put out, every video he put out, nigga, it went viral, Nigga, his shit went viral. Nigga, his motherfucking views went up. Nigga, his views went up. Nigga, I'm talking about his views was touching, nigga, like 1.5 million, nigga. 1.5 million, nigga. Every video he put out, nigga. Nigga, he was getting more views than Chief Keith. And that's not me picking size and shit. I'm just saying, I think Lil Jojo, he was getting more views than Chief Keith. Chief Keith blew up more than him because, you know, Chief Keith got signed to a record label. Lil Jojo didn't get signed to a record label. But Lil Jojo made his own shit. He made his own. He came out with the motherfucker. He had a big part to play in Brick Squad. You know what I'm saying? Brick, Brick Squad. Yeah, Brick Brick Squad. He had a big part to play in that. You know what I'm saying? And I think Lil Jojo came up with the name. You know what I'm saying? But, like, a lot of people don't give Lil Jojo his flowers, man. Lil Jojo is a motherfucking Chicago legend. He's a Chicago legend, and he's the drill. I think him and Chief Keep is the king of the drill of Chicago. Because y'all got to think about it. If Chief Keep and Lil Jojo wouldn't have been beefing and shit, say if they was not beefing and shit, <clears throat> and they was, like, say if they wasn't beefing, nigga, you probably would have never heard of them. You know what I'm saying? But since they was beefing and going back and forth at each other, nigga, that's why y'all niggas heard of them. You know what I'm saying? Chief Keep got on, nigga. Chief Keep signed, nigga, a record label with Interscope. Boom, he got on, nigga. Right when he got on, nigga, he left Chicago. Got the fuck about of Chicago, moved to L.A. But Lil Jojo was an up-and-coming rapper out of Chicago. So he was up next, basically, after Chief Keep. He was putting out motherfucking video songs, video songs, video songs, features, all that shit, right? But it's just like, you know, he was, you can't have one, you can't play both ways. When I say you can't play both ways, you can't. You can't be a rapper in the industry and be a street nigga. You can't do both. 
You got to pick one. You got to be a, a, a rapper in the industry or you got to be a street nigga. And if you want to be a street nigga, you can't be in a rap, you can't be in a rap industry because how you going to be two things? How you going to be a, a street nigga and you in a rap industry? You can't do both. You cannot do both. You cannot do both. You know what I'm saying? But I don't care what nobody say, man. Lil' Jojo, man. Nigga, that Lil' Jojo, he had bars. Nigga, that Lil' Jojo had bars. Every time he rapped, nigga, it made sense, nigga. He never mumble rap, nigga. Like, niggas got to give Lil' Jojo his flowers, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of things, Lil' Jojo, he was from Chicago, nigga. He was from Chicago, nigga. Raised in Chicago, nigga. And Lil' Jojo had a lot of niggas scared of him. That Lil' Jojo was little, nigga. He was real small. He was real small and young. He had a lot of people scared of him and had a lot of people dissing him, nigga. He had a lot of people dissing him, but a lot of motherfuckers would be scared of him, they really scared of him, but they ain't gonna tell him they scared of him, you know what I'm saying, and Lil' Jojo had a lot of beef in Chicago, he had a lots of fucking beef, nigga, he was beefing with everybody in Chicago, you know, but the problem with rappers nowadays is, you know, you just can't be, a, everybody think, I guess, a person, if you, say, if you just want to be a rapper, you want to just be a rapper and rap your music, a lot of people think you're a nerd if you don't diss motherfuckers. A lot of people think you're a nerd or you ain't on shit if you don't diss other rappers. You know what I'm saying? I don't think rappers should be dissing each other. And I don't think you should be dissing somebody to get on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and I don't think a person should talk about somebody dead, homie, dead friend. I don't I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't pick Chief Keef side. I don't pick Lil JoJo side. I don't pick FBG Duck side. I don't pick Lil Dirt side. Nigga, I, I like them all, nigga. I like all them nigga, all them niggas Chicago legends. Lil Durk is Chicago legend. T Keep a Chicago legend. Nigga FBG Duck is a Chicago legend. And Lil Jojo is a Chicago legend. But this thing about this nigga, if we had Lil Jojo, FBG Duck, and then Chief Keith and Lil Dirk nigga on a motherfucking song together. Nigga, this thing about that, nigga. We probably nigga that probably be a billion, a billion views, nigga. You probably get a billion views off of just that video. You know what I'm saying? And this thing about it, they all did a video together, nigga. That should be tight. But see, it's fucked up, though, because it's a lot of hate in the world. It's a lot of hate, and it's a lot of animosity, and it's a lot of your homeboys can't be in your ear and shit. That's the problem. That's why Chicago rappers can't come together today, because you got your homeboys in your ears, or you got these bitches in your ears, and bitches and your homeboys don't want to see you come together with your, your, your enemy or your op. You know what I'm saying? I just think that shit's stupid, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because look, if it's a nigga, if it's a million dollars, nigga, around, if it's a million dollars down the street from you, right, and your uh, your op, your op is down there, and your op or your enemy down there on the edit end, and you at that end, and whoever make it down there, whoever make it down there first get the billion dollars. I guarantee y'all both gonna run down there, nigga, and try to meet up and get the billion dollars together. You know what I'm saying? I don't think y'all gonna be on no beef and shit, nigga, if it's a billion dollars down at the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, man, I just don't understand rappers today, man. Rappers should not be dissing each other. You know what I'm saying? If, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I think, I think Lil Jojo was like, nigga, Lil Jojo, when he came in the rap industry, nigga, man, he was like, it was like 50 Cent, Lil Jojo was 50 Cent, and she keep with Ja Rule, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Lil Jojo came in, nigga, the rap industry, nigga. He came in, nigga. He was dissing everybody. He was dissing everybody in Chicago, talking shit up to everybody in Chicago. Nigga, he was dissing, nigga, Lil, Lil, Lil Reese all the fucking time. He was dissing Lil Reese, nigga, and everybody. I just feel like Lil Jojo was blackballed. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like Lil Jojo was blackballed. Because if she could get through the door, nigga, why motherfucking Lil Jojo can't get through the door? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, y'all can't, y'all can't say Lil Jojo ain't talented. Lil Jojo, he was a talented rapper, nigga. He was a talented rapper. He was smart. He was this young. Like, that's the only thing, nigga. He was this young, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He was this young, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He was just in the streets, nigga. He was just like a street nigga. That's what you call a street nigga. He was just a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was a street nigga, man. He didn't give a fuck about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a whole crazy thing, man. Allegedly, Lil Jojo, nigga, he was riding through Old Block, nigga. He was the only rapper I know, nigga, rode through Old Block, nigga, on a bike, nigga. On a bike, nigga, talking shit to nigga Lil Reese. Nigga Lil Reese was sitting by the car, nigga, and his homeboys, nigga Lil Jojo, rode right by nigga them. Nigga, but Lil Jojo had on a hoodie, I think. I think he had a hoodie on and shit. And then he was like, fuck you, Lil Reese. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, come on, bro. Y'all niggas, Lil Jojo was a hood nigga, bro. That little young dude, he was a hood nigga, bro. He was a hood nigga. He had heart. Nigga, he had heart. That's one thing I can say. He had heart, nigga. 
and he had a good soul, you know what I'm saying? To me, he looked like he had a good soul, and he had a good mind on his shoulder, you know what I'm saying? He had a good head on his shoulders. I just think he was around the wrong person. You know, I think the motherfuckers couldn't give him, motherfuckers couldn't give him no guidance and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I just wish, you know, his brother would have got close to him. You know, I just wish him and his brother would have just said, fuck it, moved out of Chicago, nigga, moved out of Chicago a long time ago, nigga, and just moved to, like, L.A. or moved somewhere and shit, nigga, and this and did their motherfucking thing. Because, nigga, y'all niggas know Lil' JoJo and Swag De Niro, nigga, shit, man, that's a motherfucking banger song. That's a banger song, you know? But Lil' JoJo, man, he lost his life to gun violence and shit, man, at a young age. He lost his life to gun violence at a young age. A young age, you know what I'm saying? It's just fucked up, man. All the good rappers die. All the good rappers always die, man, to gun violence over dumb shit, over beefing, over fighting over a female, over dissing a nigga, like, over anything. A dollar, money, anything, you know? It's just fucked up, man, you know? But I want all my fans and all my supporters, man, to pay their respect to Lil' JoJo. Say rest in peace to Lil' JoJo, man. The Chicago legend, man. You know what I'm saying? He was a Chicago legend at an early age. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, and he was a young nigga. Nigga, he was only like 15, nigga. 15, nigga. 15, 14, 16, nigga. Out there in Chicago, nigga. Running Chicago, nigga. He was running on, running on, running down on everybody, nigga. Like, nigga, everybody saw Lil' JoJo, nigga. All the ops, all his ops, nigga, know him. You know what I'm saying? All his ops, nigga, gotta pay respect to Lil' JoJo because Lil' JoJo was really that nigga. He was really that hood, nigga. He was really that hood, nigga, and he was really that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it's just always a bitch-ass nigga or hating-ass nigga that hate on a motherfucker that trying to come up. And Lil' JoJo was trying to come up, nigga, get his mom out the ghetto, and get his brother out the ghetto, and put his brother on, nigga, with the rap and shit. And they was about to be balling, nigga, and be rich. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, you know, Lil' JoJo, man, you know, somebody just backdoored him, nigga, bro. Somebody backdoored him, knew where the fuck his location was. And, you know, you know how you know how the rest go. You know what I'm saying? Bitch niggas hate on you, nigga. And bitch niggas just backdoor to Lil' JoJo. You know what I'm saying? You know, rest in peace to Lil' JoJo, man. He died of gun violence, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, if Lil' JoJo was still alive, nigga, on my mama, nigga, he'd be running the rap industry right now. Lil' Dirt would not be nigga on top, nigga. <laughs> He would not be on top, nigga. I think, nigga, who, I think how it would be, nigga, I think motherfucking Lil' Jojo, I think it would be Lil' Jojo, Lil', 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 um, Lil' J, and then I think Lil' Dirt would be third, and then I think FBG Duck would be fourth, like, nigga, like, all these niggas in the rap industry will be tight, nigga, you know what I'm saying, but you know, rest in peace to Lil' Jojo, man, he was a Chicago legend, man. You know what I'm saying? He will live on, nigga, through everybody. His his music will live on through his fans. You know what I'm saying? And, he, you know, his soul will live on through his family members and his brothers and his, you know, relatives, you know? But rest in peace to Lil' Jojo, man. Chicago legend, bro.